Bouncing blob, but not enough to watch chess. Made respect, but not paying five dollars for that. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and a decent amount of money for something that you're not sure about. Okay. Um, and then mezcal. I'm going to be using illegal mezcal. Ow. Pulled my ankle. <laughs> Such service. <laughs> uh, Rabbit, do you have a favorite drink? Doesn't have to be alcohol. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Could just be whatever you want it to be. You're just getting broken this week. Yeah. <laughs> I guess while we have a decent amount of people here, I'll share the story um, as I collect all the things I need to make this drink. Uh, I switched out of uh, out of a window seat. For, uh, to an aisle seat because there was a family that uh, had uh, had three people when I was in the window and they wanted the full row, obviously. And so that put me in an aisle. And then, of course, of course, the the lady that's getting in the row to go to the, my window seat now, like the, the one that's to my side, drops her roller bag right on my forehead, like right onto my head. Now I got this like bump and bruise right here on my forehead. I also cut my nose. Pretty, uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it was like, oh, what a, what a great reward for that. <laughs> you are a very nice person. It actually worked out okay. Minus the bag hitting me in the head, the, the middle seat next to that person was empty. So I actually had a whole room to my side of nothingness. So it would have been great, uh, but <laughs> I got a bag dropped on my head instead. What up, The Bachelor? Uh, very hands blob, some pebble ice, and a ginger beer. Oh, I love it. Uh, my go-to is a rum and diet, but I like nice whiskey. A Yamazaki, if I can find it. Well, I can tell you right now, we'll get you set up. She was very apologetic. She was very apologetic. She tried to lift it, and it was too heavy for her. And so the wheel hit the front, like where the, the bin starts. It hit the front, and then she dropped, and it hit me. And then she was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? I was like... Yeah, I'm wonderful right now. I just got y y like, absolutely yeeted out of my seat by this four-year-old that stepped on my foot in the airport because he was literally sprinting to our gate. Our plane did get a little sketchy on like the uh, the offboarding from Austin into Dallas. We had about 20 minutes, so this family was on my flight from Austin, and this kid literally just like ran right across the front of the aisle while I was in the aisle, and, and it was chaotic. Uh, but I just walked to our plane, <laughs> or to the next gate, and it was fine. They just happened to be the family that also, um, dethroned me from my window. <laughs> it all worked out, though. It's okay. Uh, could have been worse. My flight could have been canceled like my brother's. Uh, uh, tightly mushy giant <laughs> Aw. Uh, not drinking tonight, but that ginger beer sounds good. Think I'll have one of those? Nice. Yes. Yes. They would have got a hard no out of me. Yeah, I felt bad. It was a mom and her two children. Um, and they were both under the age of six, maybe? Um, so. Uh, <laughs> I should have. My friend was saying I should have sued. And I was like, no, I'm not going to sue this lady because she accidentally dropped her bag. I mean, if she cracked my skull, I probably would have, but. Uh, the traveling part of travel sucks. Yeah, it does. Especially when you're a large man like me. I didn't grab any of my... Oh, I suppose. Yeah. The benefit of having um, Chevy as your partner is she is tiny, so she can sit crisscross applesauce in a, in a plane seat, and then it makes it a lot more comfortable for me. <laughs> Sounds like irresponsible booking. Oh, absolutely it was. Absolutely it was. I mean, I'm sure they just grabbed the first three seats, but that were in a row. Because everybody, they were they were late to booking, I'm guessing, but whatever. I Yeah, I know, I get you. I was just saying, my friend was like, I should have sued. If, if, if it had actually caused me injury, I mean, I probably would have been like, cover my medical bills, but. 
Unless I have a concussion I haven't learned about yet. I think we're in the clear. <laughs> no, she fell asleep immediately. She fell asleep immediately for the whole plane ride. And I was I was even so kind that when the drink cart, the, the refreshments cart came by, I got her a peanuts and a, a Biscoff cookie and I put it on the seat next to us. And when she woke up, I was like, hey, here you go. Here's your cookie and, and, and um, pretzels. And she was like, no, thank you. And I was like, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh, I should have eaten your damn pretzels. <sighs> put the kids in the overhead. <laughs> No, 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 no. The person that dropped the bag on me was in my, was like in the same three seats as me. We had the empty seat in between us. She fell asleep on the window. The, the mom with the kids, the kids fell asleep, but she was up the whole time because they were a mess. I felt so bad for the person that was, the person that was in the aisle in front of the kid because, yeah, kind of like that. But uh, the, the, the little girl, was very fascinated by the tray table and just kept going pop, boom, slam, pop, boom, slam, over and over. And then the lady in, the, in that seat just goes <laughs> right onto the kid. <laughs> I got enough of this that you're gonna torture me. I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> Kids and then just letting them be chaotic is, is absolutely beyond me. <laughs> Alright, we are all set up. This is why I do not want children. <laughs> oh, uh, could somebody um, do me a favor? One of the mods in Set Shadow Rabbit's drink. Crazy Mama, too! <laughs> it's Crazy Mama! Well, welcome in, you dynamic duo, you. <laughs> um, could somebody do me a favor and set Shadow Rabbit's favorite drink to Yamazaki? The whiskey? All right, let's make a drink. Dark Shadow Crazy Mama, a dynamic duo of uh, of streamers there playing games. Wonderful people you should go drop both of them a follow. Oh, it was close. You were close. I got you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Mark was on it. <laughs> hey, and there's the other dark. Darkie's here, too. Yama Dinky meat, please. <laughs> oh, that's gonna, get that's gonna get annoying. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Here we go. Gentian liqueur. It's just gonna be chaos for a little yeah, while, so I'm just gonna keep like going on. Bamboozles. Bamboozles. Or bamboozles. Yeah, bamboozles. Uh -huh. Bamboozles. Are you doing something right now? I'm trying to make or this the drink. Boozles. It's got one ounce of gentian. Nice it's gonna be in your okay. squad. Have a good one. In a Thank game you, Darky. Yeah. AMS. Yeah, AMS, Darky's favorite drink. One ounce of Sue's gentian liqueur. <laughs> It's a very bitter, um, bitter liqueur for sure. And then one ounce of Bianco Vermouth. If you have a Blanc Vermouth, just kind of requiring something a little uh, sweeter, kind of floral, kind of citrusy. Uh, Negroni, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> when someone puts Yamadinki in my Negroni. <laughs> Y'all are not gonna let Dark Shadow live that one down, are you? <laughs> no, Darky! That day you decided to smash a cocktail. I have tested negative twice this week. Holding out. Holding out. <laughs> Nobody should ever have to put up with the horrible Negroni. I'm sorry to hear that, Darky. You know what that means, though? We can play Apex during the day now. You're home! <laughs> Apex, Apex! <laughs> right? That's what that means? What up, 514? How's it going? Oh no, dead on the inside. That's not good. Half of an ounce of mezcal. Uh, working from home all week. Let's go. <laughs> 
You're still working? Jeez. They should give you they should give you it off. Just take sick days. <laughs> Yeah, thankfully, have yet to test positive. Tested myself about two hours ago. Um, so, holding out. Holding out! Your boy has yet to catch COVID. And also, can we just... Can we just uh, address the fact that people are calling it the vid nowadays? Like, when did the vid become the way of saying COVID? I had somebody else that was like, oh, I, I, I'm not going to be working this week, uh, you know, the vid. And I was like, what video came out of you that you can't work anymore? <laughs> Sheesh, what do we need to be talking about right now? The vid. Um, that sucks, Darky. I'm sorry. We're all too cool for school now. Yo, Artis! Were you sneaky? Were you sneaky popping in here while you were still streaming? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! If it isn't Ida's coming in! How? How was your stream? What were you up to today? What were you cooking in the kitchen? Crap, a fly just tried to fly in my mouth. Uh, Lady J, Gator Boy. Real ca ca cat eyes? Cat eyes? Sorry if I messed that up. Um, <laughs> uh, a Manny experience. A Manny experience. Oh, I don't know how to say that either. I also have kings. I know how to say the word kings. I'm smart. <laughs> that is so loud. excellent at this uh <laughs> we're currently making a uh, fumata bianca which is a fancy uh a fancy low abv kind of drink it actually doesn't have like a lot of alcohol and it. it's got two uh it's got a liqueur a fortified wine and a little touch of mezcal in there and so it's gonna be a nice long summery style drink with a nice bittery smoke flavor to it it's gonna be fun we'll give you all the proper welcome my name is colin I make cocktails, typically three uh, three days a week. We were just talking about why people have decided to shorten COVID to the vid, um, because it makes me think that they probably had some, you know, questionable videos released of them that um, when they say, oh, I can't do this, the vid, and I'm like, oh, why can't you go in public uh, <laughs> while we were stirring a drink? Oh, gosh. Um, all right, uh, let me catch up real quick. Wife went to Washington State a couple weeks ago and comes back with the Rona. See, that's I'm, that one's more familiar, but also I understand, you know, beers, Coronas. Um, three days later, my sister, who I live with, came down with it. I've been locked in my room for two weeks. Now I need to wait another five days to go get my PCR. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I've been surviving and thriving. Haven't caught it yet. Just hoping to stick it out. All right. Did I see uh, what we made today? Idis, what'd you get up to today? <laughs> no, you're good. You're good professional streamer what did i do wrong uh what did i do wrong gator boy thank you for the host appreciate that trying to see if there was a what i made today i call it the vid no <laughs> let's let's denormalize the vid <laughs> all right you know quick little star i was very questionable on that 
the clip on clip. Oh. Yeah. It's just because I, uh, if I shoot graphic stuff, I turn off all of my, my things that can pop up. That's okay. Can't be perfect. Can't be perfect. I'm just a man. Bot. Dolphin. Kind of looks like B, not gonna lie. TikTok spaghetti hack, raw pasta with the sauce in the oven. Ooh, how did it go? Was it a real time saver? Did it still taste good? What's the, uh, what's the breakdown here? It's not even shorter when you consider the, uh, the part of it. That is so true. Also, it's just casually like pouring down the side. That wasn't even really going in the glass. Topping that off with our club soda. As always, the Surfside Sip Straw. We'll use our kitty cat straw because cats are the best. Maverick is a wonderful cat. If she comes down here, I will let you know so you can just absolutely drown her in treats. Bot. Dolphin. Alright. Lemon twist. See, I imagine the pasta thing would work, but I also wonder if it's like really oily, you know? Like, are, are the noodles real, real oily, you know what I mean? Hmm. You considering something? Somebody renamed this one yesterday. Seven of nine. Whatever that means. Bot, take a photo. Look, beautiful clear ice cube. Pretty glass straw. It's code Colino12 for 20% off. Save the planet. Save the turtles. I swam with some turtles this last weekend. Save those suckers. They're so freaking cool. Their little heads just pop up out of the water and they're like, Hi, I'm a turtle! And then they run away. Cam one. Sounds good, Mark. Catch you in a few. Did they actually? Yeah, the turtles actually said, Hi, I'm a turtle! Um, you know, that's that's what they typically say nowadays. Uh, <laughs> no. But they would sit there until you get within about three feet of them, and then they go, Bloop! <laughs> that's really cool. Um, same story we consider the uh, Jolly Mavin Treats is kind of what we do because kitty love. Yes. All the kitty love. Uh, add the sauce plus water to balance that. That was, see, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you, yeah. Um, yeah, if the turtles could speak, we would be having different conversations. All right, chat, cheers. Cheers to the uh, Fumata Bianca. Why? Because that's news. Go Brownie! Thank you so much for the 200 bitties. Zero w and any tip the bartender 200 bitties. Seems good 200 thanks for the drink. We did Colin it! 56 cheers. 
<laughs> TTS works again. Boom! Thank you, Brownie. <laughs> that took some real and internal fortitude to get set up. Also, Gator Boy and Kings, thank you so much for those follows earlier. Sorry. Uh, got lost in the, in the raid there for a second. Raid making this drink, which is definitely smoky. Earning that fumata part of it, for sure. Um, it's very bitter aftertaste, which is kind of nice if you like that thing. I do. So, uh, a bitter drink. Reminiscent on a, a, of like an Americano, but like a smokier, more floral combination before the bitter, uh, which is nice. It's less citrusy. Um, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with that. Yeah. I would say... I would say it's a it's a nice little change from uh, from the Americano. Yeah, the smoke it's the sweetness of the Bianco um, that really does it. It makes it that it makes that smoke very pleasant right on the front, and then you have that bitter aftertaste, which is just you know it's just a nice development over the course of the drink. A earthy, smoky kind of vibes into a kind of florally sweet touch. Lingering bitter flavor. Citrus on the nose doesn't really pop so much that it like changes a lot of things. Because once that mezcal hits your mouth, you don't you don't remember the the, the citrus too much. <laughs> it gets rid of that pretty quickly. Oh, uh, what's going on, Jackson? How are you doing? All right. All that is caught up. Woo! Drink number three off. Get rid of that. Start putting some stuff away. Good drink. I like it. I like it. I think um, definitely a solid alternative to an Americano. Um, I don't know that I personally would choose it over an Americano. Um, but that's just because I'm more in favor of the red bitter aperitif over a gentian. Um, but I think that has more to do with my personal preference of um of like bitter i don't care so much for the dry bitter like a tonic um so gin and tonics to me aren't like the greatest thing uh that i've ever had i i like them they're fine but they're not like crazy oh my gosh a gin and tonic i can have 14 of these no i'll have one if it's the only thing you have um but yeah so i lean more towards other flavors of bitter, and that is just my preference. But I can see somebody that likes a gin and tonic really enjoying this, for sure. I like to use the Suze. Going for a little rhyme scheme there. <laughs> oh, Mickey wants to play uh, some D20 giveaway stuff going on. All right, let's do it. Mickey, what are your numbers? What are your numbers? Let's hear them. And the Bianco Vermouth. Yeah, I've, I've been having a lot of fun with the Bianco Vermouth uh, these last couple of weeks. 2, 11, and 14. All right, chat. All the numbers are up for grabs. 2, 11, and 14 are the only ones off the table right now. No duplicates. Got, oh, Forrest, you were beaten by Barry. Forrest, you were beaten by Barry. Try again. Did you end up grabbing that ginger beer? Sipping on some, uh, some ginger beer already. I have about a third of this bottle of Bianco left. All right, I see an eight, an 18, and a four, a 17, 16, one, and nine. Uh, I'm looking at this, I'm seeing the numbers seven. There goes six, Sway, what's going on? Um, we're just picking dice numbers between one and 20. Uh, the first person to get each number is the only person that gets it. Um, so the number seven is available, the number 10 is available. Uh, there goes seven. Um, I think it's just, I think it's just seven and ten now, right? Nineteen's gone. No. Seven, ten, and nineteen are the last numbers, and uh, all about gains. Grabbing ten. Uh, uh, eighteen was already grabbed up above. Nineteen. All right, you got it, Jackson. Um, do we have anybody on seven? Anybody want seven? 
Oh, homeless man got it. Never mind. Never mind. I think we're good. I think that covers them all. Bada bing, bada boom. Sorry, Mark. Homeless man already had it. Seven of nine. The camera name today. There we go. Here we go. It is a 16. 16. Scrolling up, that number belongs to Brownie, who gives us the nice little lull. So uh, both Mickey and Brownie both get one entry. Mickey gets one because it's a 10 or higher. And Brownie gets the other one because that's the correct number guessed. Ooh, not quite clear enough, huh? <laughs> not quite clear enough. Cam one. Cam one. Thanks for the lurk. We'll catch you later. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. All right, Mickey and Brownie. In there. All right. Let's uh let's get our first round of trivia started tonight, huh? Our general knowledge round of trivia. As I put these last two bottles away. How are you doing all about games? I'm going to catch a show with the wife. I'll be back in about an hour. Lurk sounds good, Mickey. Have a good time. Enjoy the show. Let's start the show. All right. So, as we always have to do, we explain the, uh, the way trivia works. Here on Twitch, one of the easiest ways to play trivia is through the extension Quiz Kit. Quiz Kit is built into Twitch. Well, there's an extension built into Twitch that allows us to use our usernames so that it tracks our points. Uh, but the only problem is we have to let um, access, we have to let QuizKit have access to our Twitch account um, just so we can pull our username, just like you would authorize, you know, on a new computer or whatever. So, in order to do so, you need to click on the floating QuizKit box that should be somewhere around where my, my hand is waving over here. You see it? There's a floating hand right here. Grab that quiz kit icon, click on that, go in there, hit manage access, and boom! Once you have uh, authorized that, it will have your Twitch name and it can use that to uh, to make sure you get the points you deserve. If you are playing on mobile, you actually need to go below the stream, below where that one was, uh, in between the chat box, uh, in between the chat box and the... Um, in between the chat box and the stream is the little quiz kit icon. Click on the icon. Same process. You need to go to manage access and authorize it. Um, that way you can play quiz kit. If you are playing on PC, the questions and answers will pop up on the screen right about where the bar is. And you simply just click on your screen. If you're playing on mobile, you will need to open up the quiz kit extension and click in that. Uh, it will take away your chat box and you need to have that loaded up before the questions start because it is very buggy just like Twitch Mobile is buggy. Um, so always best to have it uh, pre-opened so you don't miss out. This quiz kit is hitting. Yeah, yep. Uh, bug sometimes for me uh, at least works 100% half the time. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I always switch to a PC because it's better. Sounds good, Black Ops Gamer. Enjoy. Got a quiz kit to get the biscuit. <laughs> like it. Hit the emote cheer, it now has a sound. Uh, only for subs. Only for subs, VIPs, and mods. So sound alerts is, a, is, is one of the benefits that we're giving to all subs, VIPs, and mods. And it has a cooldowns. Otherwise, otherwise the subs VIPs and mods would spam it, so you can only do it every, like, two minutes. Wow. 
watch that one more time. Yeah, but it's on a cooldown. Yeah, it's on a cooldown. You just did it above. It's on a cooldown. Same thing to you, Darky. Yep, it's on a cooldown. You think I would trust you all to not just sit there and click things all night long if I didn't put cooldowns on it? Ha! What do you take me for, fool? <laughs> Can never be trusted. <sighs> that was real. There was no joke there. <laughs> See? See what I mean? All right. Can we get? Um, can we just really quickly get the um, exclamation point PC? All right, there you go, folks. Like I was talking about earlier, click on that Quiz Kid extension there. Go through the steps. I just want to make sure because once we get started, I will not be uh, re-explaining how it works. And if you're new or haven't played trivia with us before, you need to do that to have that done. I think we need more Stitch Laughing. It'll happen probably too. And then can we get an exclamation point mobile as well? Thank you. Okay, there's your chip. Told you it was coming. You say that now, but you do all the time. Do what? Uh, Re-explain. Um. We explain after each round, typically, or after a raid, just to help people out. We want people to have the chance to play. They don't like them. All right, that's fixed. All right, it bothers me when things are like off center like that. Okay, right. round one of trivia, our general knowledge round. And generally. Yeah, but it just it, it gives me um, it gives me a hill to die upon when I say sorry. I can't trust that you are the person that won, so you don't get anything. <laughs> Those people always complain. All right. Yeah, there's general knowledge, entertainment every single week. Those two, the, those two topics are always in there, and then uh, the third and fourth topics um, switch up every single week. So. This week we have um, the drinks that have uh, been matched up already in the bracket. Those, all the ones that we've done before. So stuff about, you know, the past drinks that we did. Basically like the last week and a half. Um, and then on our fourth round, it's strictly just mammals. <laughs> it's a mammals picture quiz. Um, so know your mammals. All right. The instructions are coming out for our first round of trivia, general knowledge. It's just like a, like any bar you go to, right? Whenever you go to a pub trivia, they always do some sort of picture quiz, some sort of general quiz, some sort of like entertainment level of quiz, whether it's, you know, tonight's all about movies from the 70s or whatever. Um, or today, this, this trivia is all about music from the 2000s. There's always some sort of thing like that. So we always do general and entertainment. Sometimes they have topics within them, but they're always general and entertainment of some sort. And then third and fourth ones are where we mix it up. Uh, a Mammaries picture quiz. Love it. <laughs> sure. Uh, trivia on drinks. What sort of channel is this? I know, right? All right. Here we go. Question number one of round number one. Coming at you on QuizKit. If you're on mobile, make sure to go open up that QuizKit extension because it's going to be coming out. 
in five, four, three, two, one. Question number one, which geometric shape is used for a stop sign? Which geometric shape is used for a stop sign? Cutting it strong. Hey, what's up, Eclair? How are you doing? I'm gonna drop this. I don't really care. Bother me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you today? Today? A later for you. Pretty late. At night. Uh oh. Brownie is doubting his um, ability to remember the Gons. <laughs> All right, question is wrapping up here. We'll get that answer out for you in a second. There's no doubt I have this one up. Click triangle, Brownie. <laughs> I always put that in here as troll. There are some troll answers tonight. Sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, the answer to which geometric shape is used for a stop sign is an octagon. Uh, most of you thought it was a hexagon. It is indeed an octagon. <laughs> Something tells me you don't know how to count. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ruh -roh. Uh, Equatrio, what's your favorite drink? Yeah, we can get your favorite drink set up. Who stops at stop sides? This is golf school. What is happening upstairs? Everything okay? Chevy was killing a fruit fly, but I think she accidentally took down like a support beam or something like that instead. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, yo, True Zen, what's going on? What's going on? All right, question number two, a trivia coming at you. A reminder, don't put your answers in the chat. Answer her on the, uh, in the quiz kit extension. She didn't actually, she just, you know, those little fly slaughter things, it's just so loud. The stop sign's a hexagon? I mean, this is straight from straight up from like a, a game of, of trivia that is printed. So if it, that is the case, we got some we got some things to talk about. Alright, oh well. Yeah, I don't write these questions from the, my brain. I write them from a literal board game of, of called Pub Trivia. <laughs> I have a tower of trivia and I have a pub trivia game. But if that is the case, we actually have the ability to look at them. Uh, the stop sign, a red octagon with white lettering. Sorry, Claire. <laughs> the uh, Google confirmation says indeed an octagon. Well, that is an unfortunate, I don't know where exactly in the world you live, but for us, it is an octagon. So maybe that is region specific. Somewhere in uh, Europe, I think. If that's the case, um, yeah, I'm sorry. If that's the case, what we can do is we can take a look. Uh, it looks like, are you contestant 21, Eclair? Are you contestant 21? Yeah, if you're not in the U.S., though, that's not very fair to you. I think in Canada, too, it's, if you're not in North America, then that's not very fair. I didn't know it was specific. I've never been out of the country, so, <laughs> well, I've never been out of the continent. Oh, it is just an octagon? Okay, well that's fine then. 
Never mind. It's all good. Uh, but Eclair, you should, if you did answer and you are contestant 21, you should link your account. Just so you know. Um, that way you can get the, you can get the thing um, linked to your profile so that the points count towards you. Uh, okay. Question number two. Question number two. What country invented ice cream? Waiting to hear Chevy come barreling down the stairs. You know, as this sits, honestly, I'm liking it less and less. It's it's almost like it's growing on me and becoming less flavorful. The island country of Guam. Yes, indeed. They're known for their, their very, very cold dairy products. <laughs> that is their specialty. <laughs> Right along the equator where, where all ice cream is made. All right. Question number two wrapping up here. Ooh the answer is China. China invented ice cream. Sorry, folks. I know you might have thought that Italy had it with gelato, but it's like, come on. Everything is made in China. Even ice cream. <laughs> we all know better. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did. Rigged. <laughs> this, is, this round is called the anti-brownies knowledge round. <laughs> the North Pole and Santa Claus brought it to people in their stocking, but it melted and looked like spilled milk. That's why they set out milk and cookies. It all makes sense now. Um, <laughs> once I am a loser. <laughs> uh, next you'll say China invented pasta. Well, no, that is indeed from Italy, but um, nice try. <laughs> all right, question number three coming at you in a couple of seconds. Prepare yourselves if you're on mobile. By the time I am done talking and counting to five, four, three, two, one. Next question, question number three. Volkswagen does not own which company? Which of the following does Volkswagen not own? Capitalized N-O-T. Which one do they not own? Which of these fancy cars, car companies, do they not own? They own three of them. If you know that, you can do process of elimination. Be a big brain. Or you can just guess. Whatever you do, don't pick whatever Brownie picks. Um, fun fact, Brownie, Volkswagen owns Lambo. <laughs> they own uh, Ducati. They own Lamborghini. Um, <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> yeah, they own Ducati and Lamborghini as well as three of the four listed on this question. Leave our brains out of this. <laughs> How are you doing, Slay? Oh, goodness. The answer is BMW. That was a pretty split question. Wow, look at that. Six people got it wrong. Four people got it right. Um, Volkswagen does not own BMW. The rest are all owned by Volkswagen. Matchbox cars? They probably own those, too. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's okay, Barry. Brownie probably missed that one too, so you don't have to worry about getting in last. <laughs> Just being brutal to Brownie right now. He's gonna win the giveaway, it's fine. He's gonna do 14 months in a row, so it's, you know, or 14 giveaways in a row. Um, all right, question number four in a good old 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, One. Question number four. What is the body's largest organ? What is the body's largest organ? Oh, got some tea time going on. Um, you didn't hear this from me, but meow meow. Mickey is more of a big Pete fan, meow meow. Maverick. <laughs> Them's fight words.
You got this one? Get it. Get it. Bring a kitty with you. Uh, before or after these streams? <laughs> uh, hope it doesn't say the one about me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, crap, I think I guessed wrong. So much tea. Oh, there is so much tea in there. <laughs> the asshole's the answer? I don't think that's an organ. <laughs> hey oh <laughs> Alright, the actual answer... Is actually your skin! And nine of you got it correct! One of you went with liver, um, which is misleading. It is the, uh, the liver is the largest, um, non-external organ. It's the, it's the largest internal organ, but the skin is actually your largest organ. Good job, nine of you, for paying attention. Rip, I am the one W in the chat. <laughs> you didn't have to out yourself. <laughs> Oddly enough, I didn't think it was brownie. You uh, you trolled too hard. All right, the last question of general knowledge, round one of trivia, coming at you in a good old five, four, three, two, one. Yo. Last question: Which state is the largest in the United States of America? Sorry for all of you non-United States people. Our following is like. 85% United States or Canada. So I feel bad, but like I also have to write all these questions and I don't want them to be wrong. So <laughs> I try to do things that I at least have some knowledge on um, where I feel like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> or that sounds about right. <laughs> but on the geography ones and the, uh, you know, Road our Rhode Island sway <laughs> that might be the smallest um, on all of our our landmarks around the world I count on you folks to be hitting it you know just number one in all of those categories I don't like this anymore I don't like this anymore um, Guam also the correct answer yep that is true largest land mass for for sure it's definitely not a tiny US territory um, Washington, that's not a real state. Nice try. Uh, the answer is, by a long shot, by the way, like a, like a real, real big, I actually looked at this one, is Alaska. It's not even close. Like, it's, I think it's almost three times bigger than Texas. So, get dumped on, kid. <laughs> nice try, sucker. Um... There's a lot of questions about amount of surface. Yeah, apparently it's like three times larger than Texas. Which fooled me. They always make it look so small on the maps, right? That's because it's not connected anymore. It's like they've taken it and they shrunk it down so it almost looks like it's the size of Hawaii. It's not the size of Hawaii. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> All right, the final results. A third of the country, is it actually? Oh my gosh. Uh, the final results. Are Mark in first place with 108,000, Forest the White Chatter coming in second with 86,000, and Homeless Man with 81,000, rounding out the top three. The Bachelor coming in fourth with 50k, Barry with 28k, Cause with 14, Darky with 10, Contestant 15, you gotta link your name, uh, with six negative 6,000, Eclair with negative 10, Gaines with negative 10, and Brownie coming in 11th. With negative 19. Good job, the top three. Um, especially good job, Rowdy. <laughs> map projections be funny like that, right? I just think back to when I had that like puzzle map, and it was like, oh, here's Alaska, and it fits right into the same slot as Hawaii almost. You're like, oh, that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Um, you kidding me? I only answered two questions. That's all it takes to Bachelor. That's all it takes. <laughs> Could have gotten, uh, you could have gotten second. You'd answered one more. Hey, everyone's stuff is still hidden. <laughs> Just <laughs> screw you, <Patty. laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Shots fired. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Little give and take. Uh, I should have stayed out of the V dub question. You know, you win some, you lose some. 
and Mark wins those. Excellent works. All right, Mark Forrest and Homeless Man into the giveaway. Two for Mark, one each for Forrest and Homeless Man. Oof, I'm sorry, Gaines. That's rough. Yeah, I'm telling you, the the Quiz Kid extension on Twitch Mobile is like doubling down on questionable functionality. Twitch Mobile is gonna break on you already. Quiz Kit Mobile is not reliable either. You're really, really in the in the weeds. It's all it takes, right, homeless man? It's all it takes. All right, we'll get rid of round one there, and then we'll uh, let's make another drink. Maybe. I mean, it's just Twitch servers, right? The Twitch servers. Uh, Barry, what you got? What do you sh what you got for us? Share. Kanara made partner? How? Let's go! Did she just find out? That's awesome. Congratulations, Kanara! Just now? Heck yes. Heck yes. Speaker placement, thank you for the follow and welcome in. That's awesome. Well, if you're talking to her, say congrats from us. I know she's not on mine anymore. Um... A 10 second countdown before question would be nice to be honest. All right, I can do that. I can do that. I mean, I, yeah, I'm not anywhere near discord. I'm not anywhere near it. All the Kanara love, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. It's about darn time. I know. Two and a half months. Two and a half months she waited to hear that. So that's really awesome. All right. Drink number two on. Let's get that one going. Make a little rock roll here. We got a raid! It's Chef Steve! What's going on? How? Welcome in, Raiders. Oh. Welcome, welcome. How? How is everyone doing today? Chef Steve, how was your stream? I gotta, I gotta say, I was lurking a little bit on your stream, just uh, listening to you talking about the, you know, all the GCC stuff. I haven't even um, told my my chat yet. Doing as much as he did to help. Uh, I probably would have left earlier than that anyway. Prime really did help. Glad it went amazing. Helped me so Grandma much. Lash, I'm what's forever good? grateful for Prime. But, um. Celtic Raven. You know, I wasn't Jax, getting any time thank to you have, for the any overtime, just straight pay, shit pay. But we had this. We had community, and we were on a. Any love for tequila drinks? Absolutely. I love some tequila. We actually just had a mess call drink. I uh, just finished it, but um, we, we did a mezcal call drink, so a little nod to a te uh, tequila. It was the DS9 collab that got Kanara in. <laughs> Love it. Um, all right. I didn't tell the folks here, but um, I'm very, very excited for the, the September, uh, for the month of September. I'm going to be joining up with the Good Cause Crusaders to raise some money for uh for starlight and for you know just helping out sick kids kind of like what we did over here all these people always think it's a lay or something these are all our starlight stars for all of our donations from our mario stream so we're going to be doing that again but for the whole month of september uh, for those in my stream you may remember last year uh we celebrated negroni week but we didn't get to do it the way that um some in the industry celebrate that which is to do negroni week um uh, but raising money for charity I was trying to partner with Imbibe somehow, but we couldn't really figure out a way to do that since I'm not like an actual bar. Um, so we're gonna be doing it a different way. 
We're going to be doing it with the Good Cause Crusaders. Uh, so not only throughout the whole month of September will we be raising money uh, to help out some seriously sick kids and, you know, bring some joy to them and their families. Uh, we're also going to be doing it for Negroni Week, which I believe was announced for the 12th through the 19th. So not only will we be doing the whole month of fundraising, but that specific week, we're going to be just drinking Negroni variants, which there are so many out there. Um, so we'll be celebrating just like we did last year. I think last year I had 17 different Negronis over four streams. Um, so we'll be doing the same kind of thing um, this this uh, September, the 12th through the 19th, um, and then the whole month just uh, also, you know, being part of the Good Cause Crusaders. So excited for that. Heck yeah. And thank you to Chef Steve. Chef Steve was the one that uh, roped me into that. Appreciate you, Chef Steve. Whiskey Monster, you're doing it too? Let's go. I thought I saw you in there earlier today saying something about you were uh, wanting to join up. Uh, Bill Fett, what's going on? Welcome in. Finished with $459 raised today for Starlight. Heck yes. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm so ready for this double drink. <laughs> You're making a double rub, boy. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Um, and then also we just found out from Berry Minty Berry that Kanara made partner like uh, two minutes ago. So thank you so much, Chef Steve, for the awesome raid. And welcome in, everyone. Kanara just made freaking partner. And there's Kanara right there. Congratulations! Can we get a congrats in the chat for Kanara? Our new partner food and drink streamer here on Twitch. Big congratulations. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that! There's the check mark and everything, Kanara! That's awesome! <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Let's pour a deep one out. <laughs> Kanara's like two martinis in in the last five minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe, maybe Kanara, we can celebrate with a shot sometime. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you said you've never done a shot in your life. <laughs> Um, I need a pitcher. <laughs> You've been waiting for forever, so it's it's absolutely massive and, and very awesome. Very, very happy. Big cheers indeed. Um, also, Savage Kai, thank you so much for that follow as well. Appreciate that from the raid earlier. And Raiders, again, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid, Chef Steve. I appreciate you. I know you probably have a lot to do, whether it's cleanup or whatever. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, we're, we're doing a Rob Roy tonight in Brownie! Whoa! <laughs> Brownie, thank you so much for the gifted subs. There's four in there, which tells me we're probably at a daily goal. Um, because Brownie wants me to do a shot of something. Yep, there's Mark letting us know. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm, a shot of something, a shot of something. I don't know. How about this? Kanara, what should I do a shot of? You can pick anything from my bar that I will do a shot of. Is, uh, congratulations to you. Whiskey Monster with the 100 biddies. Thank you so much. Whiskey Monster tip the bartender 100 biddies. Monster. Top line tequila? All right, I don't have, like, top, top Show line, love 100, right. whisk 124, love. We got some Corleo Blanco. That's what I'll go with. It's only like thirty dollars. Not that fancy. You'll find that I don't have a lot of uh, fancy alcohol here. I do mostly mixed drinks of sorts, cocktails. So my fanciest stuff is typically actually my liqueurs. <laughs> All right, everyone. Cheers. Again, thank you, Chef Steve, for the raid. Uh, thank you to Itis for the raid earlier as well, and uh, big congratulations to Kanara. Thank you to Brownie for the gifted subs. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot better than cheap tequila, but it's still not great, you know. I think the fanciest tequila I've ever had. What would that be? Oh, Place Azul? 
the one with the little bell on top. That's probably the fanciest skill I've ever had. This one's good though. It's Forest got a little bit of that white Forest underscore white the bartender uh, 190 no bitties. Forest! Thank you for the 190 bitties. Appreciate you. Time to go blind. Oh, we got a hype train. I'm going. I'm going. All right, we got our hype train glasses. I take off my actual glasses, and I can no longer read the chat. So, <laughs> bot enhance. All right, creme delish. Appreciate you for stopping by. Have a great rest of your night. We got a hype train. Boop, boop. Barry with the 400 bits. Let's go. Barry Minta Barry Thank tips so the much. bartender 400 bitties. C H E R one zero zero C H E R one zero zero C H E R one zero zero C H E R one zero zero. Cheers. <laughs> oh, we have TTS by the way. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. All right, so this one calls for um, Bob Abbott's bitters, which I don't have. Um, so we are going to replace it with aromatic bitters, which you might know as like Angostura bitters. Um, but I have so many other ones. I figured, why not let chat kind of like pick and choose a little bit? What do you think, chat? Is there something else we can go with here? Um, I have these cardamom bitters, which are fairly aromatic. Wonderful. I also have my own homemade spiced bitters, um, which are a very good aromatic bitter. Uh, we have these fall chat bitters, which have, they, they're they aromatic, but they also have a little kick of, of, of like hot peppers in there, um, which is nice. Might be a little uh, fun twist. I have these spiced cherry bitters. Uh, we have root beer bitters. Um, what am I missing? So many, so many. There's the spiced. Of course, it's the last one I grab. And then our classic little Angostura. What are we thinking? Uh, I'm gonna go, I have to lurk for class, but I may chime in from time to time. Whiskey Monster, appreciate you. Thank you so much for the lurk. Pour one out for Whiskey Monster as they head off to class. If you are around, uh, feel free to join in on trivia. We're playing trivia tonight. Good old trivia on our Wednesdays. Spiced cherry. Spiced cherry from Mark. I think that's probably going to be the winner then. Does that sound good to everybody, Spice Cherry? So hard to read. The spice must flow. All right, Spice Cherry it is then. <laughs> All right, let's put the bitters away. I got that little tray at a um, thrift store for $3. Honestly, perfect. It's pretty heavy duty, too. All right, Spice Cherry Bitters. These are actually from Woodford Reserve, not homemade. One of the few non-homemade bitters I have. 